being greedy, even trying to get the little drops that fell down. Bad bit of pine resin right there. Take that and find some uses for it. Hey, how's it going guys? I uh, spent most of the day <coughs> working on this new shelter. Pretty much reached exhaustion to this point. <coughs> so I'm just taking a break. I'm going to cook something up. Have a little something to drink. Thinking some bread. Probably some tea. Wood tick. Over the fire. So uh, yeah, that's probably going to be it for the shelter for today anyways pre wore out so uh yeah just gonna eat have something quick to drink pack it up and head out of here but i figured while i was prepping my dinner here show you guys some things that my buddy joe dishaw from new york sent to me i uh, showed you guys a knife he sent me uh, quite a while back i actually used it last year on the trap line it's called the uh, if all else fails knife and if you've seen a bunch of my fire videos uh, especially some recent ones my fire kit I hold in the pouch that he sent me as well so here's the pouch that you guys have already seen uh, the if all else fails knife uh, he makes all this stuff you know handmade he doesn't use jigs and stuff like that. So uh, here's the if all else fails knife. Again, I've showed this in a past video, but just beautiful work. Uh, he's got some antler bone in here, some uh, leather strips. I think this was redwood, I think is what he called it. Just a, a gorgeous knife. Uh, they are stainless steel, but razor sharp. I, uh, Skinned out, I don't know, three or four beaver with this one in particular. Awesome job. So, and then the sheath as well, all custom made uh, by him by hand. Uh, just impeccable work. And again, the uh, little pouch that my fire kit comes in has a little loop on the back for your belt. A couple D rings, some uh, rawhide tassels there. So. <clears throat> the other day I was actually out shooting some video and I've been busy with work and all so uh, Joe had sent me a message on YouTube private message asking if my address was still the same and stuff like that uh, I didn't catch it for a couple days so by the time I seen it he sent me another message saying he put some stuff in the mail for me so I'll show you guys that 
again while I'm prepping my dinner here. So he sent me quite a few things. This time he did send me little Altoids tin kit that he puts together. It's got you know a couple Ranger bands on it. I think it has uh, some band-aids and a razor blade and stuff on the inside. So uh, a lighter there, an assortment of safety pins, an assortment of band-aids, some ibuprofen, a couple extra Ranger bands, some Strike Anywhere matches it looks like, uh, and the razor blade like I said. So a pretty cool little kit. these back on here all right sent me another pouch again all hand done by him uh, he cuts it up cuts the leather out himself punches all the holes uh, strings it up puts the snap enclosures on it again it's got a belt loop in the back a couple d-rings if you want to attach it to a pack or something like that well you could throw a shoulder strap on there easy enough I'd imagine so there's a couple more things inside there I'll show you in a second. Uh, he sent me another knife. Again, custom leather sheaths. All hand done by him. And this knife is just another freaking piece of work, Joe. I think he calls it an EDC knife. It's a, a touch smaller than the If All Else Fails knife. It's got the same same kind of profile. Uh, you did put a spot up here for your finger so you can choke right up on this thing. A spot for your thumb up top as well for some you know skinning, carving, stuff like that. Beautiful handles on it. I don't know what they are, but they're nice as well. And he just threw a landed on the back with a piece of bone here that slides up and down thinking so you could choke up on it if you want or we'll tighten that thing right down to your wrist if you're using it that way so uh, again just amazing work uh, there's this little logo there on the blade I think it's a spruce tree so just incredible work uh, Joe's a, a freaking hell of a guy to send me you know, stuff like this. I'm sure, he put a lot of time and effort into it, and they're, they're just beautiful pieces. They really are. So, he did send me a letter each time he sent the stuff. Uh, well spoken man. Sent me a couple business cards as well. So, I want to share that with you guys in case you're interested. Maybe see what he has to offer. He has a whole slew of knives that he makes so these ain't the only two so uh, here's a peek at his business card real quick and then he sent me this with it as well pretty cool picture there an owl so knife works and again on the back just like I was telling you completely handmade custom knives and sheaths no jigs or dies. So again, what's it say there? JD Knife Works. It's uh, Joe Dishaw. So I did send a reply to him on YouTube. I'm going to stoke my fire back up here real quick. You know, thanking them, but thank you doesn't even cut it for this stuff. I mean, it really doesn't. Wow. Uh, got your address, Joe? I'm definitely going to send you something in return, so I don't think you're getting away this time scot-free. Uh, you should be expecting something in the mail yourself. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this stuff. I wanted to thank Joe publicly for all this fine gear and knives and stuff that he sent my way. I definitely appreciate it. Like I said, thank you really doesn't get it, but 
you know, thank you nonetheless. And, uh, if you guys are interested, uh, reach out to him. Joe Dishaw is his name, JD Knife Works. Uh, check him out. He definitely makes some good knives. He sent my buddy Andrew up in the wild north, a whole set of them, I think, uh, a couple times, as a matter of fact. But yeah, go ahead and check them out, guys. I'm going to uh, get my fire roaring again. I got some coals there. Uh, get some grub because I'm hungry. Uh, play tab and pipe for the uh, typical back in the days of the mountain man along the frontier stuff like that <clears throat> this one's even more typical give you guys a close up so clay tab and pipe this one's actually got the uh, Water is going to fall over. It's actually got the wooden uh, stem on it. So, typically, what they'd do is grab one of these out of the jar, you know, at the tavern or whatever, smoke till they were pleased, then they'd just snip the end off, put it back in the jar so the next person had a fresh tip to smoke on. Got a couple others at home as well. This is the first time I've tried this one. I'm going to uh, obviously finish up the shelter, not today, but I'm going to get it done. Try to spend some time up here, <clears throat> maybe an overnight or two. Actually up in bear country right now, uh, up in New Hampshire, so that would be interesting. Some uh, deer sign around as well, there's a rubbing tree right here, uh, some deer scat. Just, just the side of it a little ways. I think you can see the sun's 
going down just behind me, so uh, not that I need it summertime, but front of my shelter is facing southeast-ish, so I can catch catch the sun coming up in the morning. In case the fire goes out, warm you back up a little bit. Love that bread. Only thing is missing some beans. Well, thank you guys for joining me for another video. Uh, be nice to get the shelter done. Uh, come out here, shoot some more video from it be cool uh, again I wanted to give <clears throat> Joe a shout out uh, I do have some more of those coming well, there's quite a few people that have sent me stuff you know over time I uh, just haven't gotten to a few of you so don't worry I haven't forgot you you know who you are uh, waiting for the right opportunity and I uh, kind of mix it into the theme with the video so I'm not just sitting here showing everybody how much cool crap I have, you know, but, uh, certainly appreciate it. You guys are way too kind to me. I have more stuff than I know what to do with, uh, and it's because you guys are great people. So thanks for joining me. Like I said, I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I uh, will see you soon with another video until the next one. Take care.